Hello everyone, I'm Heather Dawson and it's a pleasure bringing you the best of California every week on our show. Well, we've got a fun fact for you. According to 50states.com, the country store in Baker has sold more winning California state lottery tickets than any outlet in the state, which is pretty lucky considering that California is larger than 85 of the smallest nations in the world. Well, maybe that's why California Life has so much interest around the world. In fact, we are now airing across the globe with international coverage in Australia, Asia, and the military. So let's take a journey overseas, where the Chinese economy has doubled in the past seven years, and experts say it's now home to 1.5 million new millionaires. While many upper class are looking for luxury items like high-end fine wines, China's growing middle class is exploring more mid-range wines. Now combine all this, and it's no wonder why wine exports crushed international sales records in 2011. And reporting for the award-winning wine channel Wino TV, California Life's Monique Sultani heads to Hong Kong to cover the Hong Kong International Wine and Spirits Fair and finds out why California winemakers are increasingly more interested in the area where the wine business is booming. We're here at the Hong Kong International Wine and Spirits Fair where 950 exhibitors from over 30 countries have come to show off their stuff, including the grape state of California. I am thrilled to be joined by Tom Pillsbury of the Mole Winery. Holy smokes, what brings you to Hong Kong? Really what got us on the map over here was two years ago, uh, the White House selected our uh, 2008 Russian River Chardonnay uh, to be served at the state dinner, uh, uh, hosting Hu Jintao, the president of China, and Obama uh, was hosting it. The media over here and around the world uh, got a hold of it and our phone started ringing like crazy and uh, so here we are. So here we are. This is my first time in Hong Kong, your second time in Hong Kong. Any words of wisdom for the, for the newbie here? It's chaos in a good way and the food is terrific. Uh, it's a very, um, it's a great, very open market economically. It's uh, one of the freest uh, economies in the world. There's no wine import duties. Uh, and there are, it is a very competitive market, uh, but it's an enthusiastic market. The consumers here uh, are wanting to learn a lot about wine, whether it's from California or other places. And so we're here in Hong Kong. Uh, I normally say cheers at the end of any video, but do they say gung bai? Gung bai? What is it? Gung bai. What does that mean? It means bottoms up and you're expected to finish your glass. Uh, uh oh, how about half the glass? Gung bai. Gung bai. Bottoms up. We are now giving you a taste of the wines of Germany. Germany is a really small wine country. We produce just 10 million hectoliter. Fortunately, in Hong Kong, we have a really good success in the last years with Riesling, which is our main grape variety. We have more than 21,000 hectare planted with Riesling. This is more than 60% of the world production. And you know, Riesling is such a versatile grape variety, which uh, is uh, such a good food partner. Uh, and people are crazy, meanwhile, worldwide um, for, cre for Riesling. Everybody loves Riesling. My mom loves Riesling. She okay. says, give me a Riesling any day of the week. Uh, but a lot of people think wheat Riesling, they think super sweet, but that's not what we're talking about here. No, no. For example, in uh, the class, we have here a Riesling Classic, which means it's it's a, a dry style Riesling. The Germans produce more uh, dry Riesling, uh, dry wines in general. 60% of our production, more than 60%, is in a dry style. But uh, in the United States, for example, in the exportation, the uh, sweeter styles dominate just because the market demands a sweeter style. You got that U.S. market, you got to go for the drier demands. I'm from California. What's the German uh, wine region like? Do you get a lot of tourists? Can people go visit yes. the wineries there? Yes, this is not just producing wine. They also accommodate uh, um, and welcome uh, guests to stay and they offer tasting. They have some restaurants uh, on site. They organize festivals to attract people from all over the world. Wine drinking 
marketing must be fun. If you have a um, good uh, a company and, and uh, you are visiting the regions, know where the wine is growing, see the people behind, this is much more interesting for people. I always say wine's about people. It's a belly-to-belly -belly business. Yeah. Cheers. How do you say cheers in uh, German? Zum Wohl. Zum Wohl? Zum Wohl. Yes. Zum Wohl. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm a votre santé to your health. To your health. To your health. And I am thrilled to be joined by Hong Kong's very own Stephen Jarre. Portrait Winemakers and Distillers is Hong Kong's only premium distillery and winery. It's a, sort of on the edge of the biggest market of the world. China right now is a burgeoning market, and it's burgeoning in an area that's exciting. It's sort of the, the mid-tier. We have the advantage of, or let's say at a tax advantage, of selling our wines and certainly selling our spirits into China on a tax-free basis under the free trade agreement between Hong Kong and China. You've been here for about three years. What made you decide to make the move to Hong Kong in the first place? Entry into Hong Kong is very easy in terms of anything imported. And our fruit comes here, it's flown here or by ship. It's a very simple port to deal with. So fruit gets into the winery immediately. We can process it quickly and then under the free trade agreement we can process it into wine or spirits and then sell it into China. Did you ever think you'd be living here bit four years ago? <laughs> no I did not. I did not think I was going to be living here but it's a, I dig it. It's a great city. It's a city that breathes money and it breathes fashion and it breathes excitement and it's truly the Manhattan of, of in every sense of the word of Asia. Stephen, uh, huge accolades, Time Magazine, talk a little bit about that. Oh, it was lots of fun. They love the wine and they love the story. We had a great release with you guys last night at the winery commemorating Hong Kong and we are Hong Kong's, I guess, uh, uh, leading edge producers. So Time Magazine went high five. This is a, a great fun. They drank way too much wine. Maybe that's why they printed the cover story. I don't know. Okay, so there's sort of a tradition. I like to close my stories with saying cheers, but we have a different tradition here. Uh, in Hong Kong, we do a Gumbe, is that a like? lovely tradition where where it's a sign of friendship, and I know both hands for you, as it were. Okay. And uh, and and with that is always a toast to the toaster, the presenter. So I'd like to certainly welcome you to Hong Kong. I wish you great success with your program and uh, Portrait Winemakers and Distillers is always there for you and your great uh, viewers. And uh, Gumbe. Gumbe, and we got to toast, <laughs> pound it, right? Way down. There we go. Now what? You are from China. <laughs> <laughs> and joining us in studio is Dr. Kenny Davin Fine, physician, musician on a mission, who's with us to talk about his medical conferences that inspire audiences around the world. Founded by Jacques Lubin and his partners in 1990, Inc. Plan USA has helped thousands of entrepreneurs to form legal entities throughout the world. Our clients have also made productive use of the various services that we offer, initial company registrations, bank consulting, virtual office services, and more. Inc. Plan's clientele continues to grow primarily from customer referrals. We are affiliated with Corporate Holding Services, a highly respected Delaware firm that advises large U.S. and international corporations. The Patio Restaurants in San Diego, where you'll always find fresh seasonal food with a distinct local flavor. Toast to the coast at the Patio on Lamont in Pacific Beach. Enjoy beefed up ballpark favorites at the Patio in Left Field at Petco Park. Try the top-notch collection of tequila at the Patio on Goldfinch in Mission Hills. And fire up your taste buds at Fireside by the Patio at Liberty Station. Make your reservation now at thepatiosd.com. If you owe $10,000 or more in credit card debt or unsecured loans, this is what it looks like. But there is a solution. Only National Debt Relief has the Debt Reset Program that negotiates with your creditors to reduce your debt down to a fraction of what you owe and will customize a low monthly payment plan, helping you become debt-free in as little as 24 to 48 months. And you don't pay a dime until we succeed. Call now for your free $100 gift card. Call 800-928-0543. Are you 65 or older, suffering from back pain, disc herniation, osteoarthritis, or spinal stenosis? Thousands of people are getting the relief they need from the Vertiloc Back Brace from Doctor Approved Medical. Designed with orthopedic technology, the Vertiloc Back Brace can reduce pain and can be an alternative to surgery or medications. Everything may be covered by Medicare or your insurance, so there's little or no cost to you. Call now and get free shipping and our complimentary pain relieving gel. Call 800-379-9684 
director Kenny David Fine is one of the musical greats of Nashville, who's also known as one of the leading internal medicine experts in Dallas. Now through his music and medical background, he's created an educational and enlightening musical medical conference that inspires audience around the world. It's such a pleasure to have you in our studio. Thank you, thanks for having me, Heather. And what a background. I mean, that is something you don't hear about every day. Somebody that is a doctor by profession, mm -hmm. helping people and enlightening them, and also health conscious and a musician. Yeah. I mean, a true Renaissance man. When you have a calling, it's always best to try to respond to it, and uh, it won't seem to let go. Well, we're going to start off with just being healthy. And one thing as far as what you eat, we hear so much about gluten. Explain that in layman's term, you know, why is that such an issue right now? Well, that's a good question. And, and so you're asking the why. Let me just quickly say the what. Okay. And what gluten is, is a protein in wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Now, there's a slight controversy whether oats are a problem for everyone, and the answer is probably not. Mm -hmm. So wheat, barley, rye primarily spelt and teff are cousins of those, so those are uh, the grains that people can't eat. And then oats in people who are sensitive, which is about 20 to 30 percent of all gluten sensitive people. But um, there is a reason why this has become such a real epidemic. It has to do with the altering of the genes of wheat that has happened through hybridization. Just our farming practices probably haven't been the most ideal. We've done things to our bodies like blocking stomach acid, acid blocking medicine affects the digestion of your dietary proteins and so if you don't digest protein as effectively then you have more food sensitivity. But gluten in particular, this disorder has been identified for 2,000 years so it's really? probably been around as long as man has been eating grains and the proteins are difficult to digest anyway and so when you block the digestion or you have genes that don't seem to digest these proteins uh, normally, you end up with an immune response. And so the other side of the problem is our immune systems are more stimulated, more on guard, and really uh, all immune disorders are um, increasing as far as the epidemiologic statistics. The entire problem itself as far as people reacting to gluten could be as high as one in two people. One and two people. Half the people. And you have such a passion. Is that why you got into medicine? Truthfully, between my interest in food, nutrition, mm -hmm. fitness, and on the flip side, I got very impressed and intrigued by creation. Like when I learned in biology class how this cell meets this cell, yes. and in nine months, mm -hmm. all of the cell division created a baby and almost always it works out perfectly. Certainly there are times it doesn't. It just amazed me so. And frankly, I think that was the spiritual calling in its own form at that time, because really what spirituality should be most impressed with is creation. I think you're so fascinating. There's so many things that we could talk about, but I know that somebody could actually reach out to you and go to your seminar. And, and how would they do that if they're watching here right now? As far as the seminars that I do, mm -hmm. I post a schedule on my website showing all of the different things that I do. It's called sixsidesofservice.com, or the abbreviation is S-I-X, and then S-O-S for sides of service. So sixsos.com. And of course, we are going to have that um, on our show as well as on our website. So if anybody missed anything and they want more information, and I can't wait to have you back on our show and talk all about your, your music That'd and your creative side as well. And it's been a pleasure, Thank a true you. pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much for much. coming. I'm Jason Residlo, reporting right outside the Dolby Theater here in Hollywood, the home of the 2016 Academy Awards. Now here are this year's nominees for Best Picture. It all starts with Room, the Bridge of Spies, Mad Max Fury Road, The Revenant, Spotlight, The Martian, The Big Short, and Brooklyn. For actor in a leading role, the nominees are Brian Cranston for Trumbo, Matt Damon for The Martian, Leonardo DiCaprio for The Revenant, Michael Fassbender for Steve Jobs, and Eddie Redmayne for The Danish Girl. For actress in a leading role, the nominees are Kate Blanchett for Carol, Brie Larson for Room, Jennifer Lawrence for Joy, Charlotte Rampling for 45 Years, 
and Seorsi Ronin for Brooklyn. You can watch the Oscars live Sunday, February 28th on ABC, beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and 4 p.m. Pacific Time. Reporting from Hollywood, I'm Jason Rosidlo. Welcome back. Big news from Beverly Hills. Celebrity plastic surgeon Dr. Andrew Orden has discovered an anti-aging breakthrough called Fill and Freeze. And he's giving away one million bottles free. I've spent nearly 30 years looking for an effective instant breakthrough to reduce the appearance of wrinkles that can be applied topically instead of with surgery or invasive medical techniques. And I finally found it with Derm Exclusive's Fill and Freeze. Wow, I'm young again. I don't feel like an old lady. The lines are gone. Oh my God. Wow, I can't believe it. It looks really good. It gives you a whole new confidence. It definitely took 10 years off. If I went to a dermatologist here in the city, I would pay three, $400 for this. I know you're wondering what Derm Exclusive can do for you. Well, you don't have to wonder. You can order it right now and try it for yourself absolutely risk-free and here's how call now during this special direct-to-consumer offer and you won't pay hundred twenty dollars today you can get your own instant results with fill and freeze for only fifty nine dollars but that's not all today we're taking another twenty dollars off so now you can get this instant wrinkle removing miracle for the low price of only thirty nine ninety five and as part of our one million bottle giveaway dr orden is including a second sixty dollar bottle of fill and freeze free that's nearly one hundred and twenty dollars of fill and freeze for only thirty nine ninety five Dr. Orden will even include his micro peel resurfacing pads, intensive repair serum, and collagen lift moisturizer, a $200 value, free. Order now and we'll even upgrade your order to express delivery. That's a $15 value, free. Plus, you even get to try it risk-free for 30 days with our money-back guarantee. But you must call to order. Call 1-800-619-1871. That's 1-800-619-1871. Order now. And I'm here at Dr. Dogban's office, a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon, giving the term Nip Tuck a facelift with his revolutionary natural breast surgeries, specializing in men. It's called gynecomastia, a condition that creates excess breast tissue in both adolescent boys and men, resulting in the appearance of a more feminine chest. Having gynecomastia takes an emotional toll on them especially living in Southern California where it's such an active lifestyle and we have the beach and we have pools. A lot of guys feel very self-conscious, have low self-esteem, are in positions where they're not comfortable taking their shirts off and it really does impact them. It's not unusual for me in a consultation when I ask the guy to take the shirt off to do the exam, I'm watching him take multiple layers off. And this could be in the middle of summer as well and so you can really Imagine how this can impact your daily living when you have to make all these decisions about something that most guys take for granted, and that's the appearance of your chest. Gynecomastia is typically caused by a hormone imbalance, an endocrine disorder, or certain drug abuse like steroids that can affect one or both breasts, sometimes unevenly, and often cannot be fixed by medication or anything other than surgery. Dr. Babak Dodd Vand has cornered the market on corrective natural surgeries that help recontour and reshape the patient's chest for a more masculine look. As a plastic surgeon who specializes in gynecomastia, the one thing I tell all my patients is you can't do the same operation in everybody and get consistent results. So when I take a look at a guy's chest, I'm looking at four things. I'm looking at how much fatty tissue they have, how much breast tissue they have, whether they have loose skin and what's their nipple position. And based on that combination of those four things, I determine the best technique. And so, for instance, if a guy has just excess breast tissue and not any fatty tissue, like say, for instance, bodybuilders in my practice or the guys who are really physically fit, then they don't need liposuction. And in fact, liposuction will not work in treating breast tissue. It doesn't remove it. You have to actually go in and cut it out. By the same token, if they have excess fatty tissue, um, then liposuction is the best treatment. And a, and a lot of guys have a little bit of both. And so you do liposuction as well as removing the breast tissue. And you're kind of sculpting it. His Instagram reads, Beverly Hills doctor without the Beverly Hills attitude. 
and it's Dr. Dodd Van's cool attitude, passion, and dedication, not only to new patients, but to more difficult or less tackled patients that makes this statement true. His office sees a lot of revision gynecomastia surgeries, and Dr. Dodd Van has also tackled surgeries involving younger men who have passed adolescence, but whom many other surgeons are usually hesitant to operate on because of their younger age. Up to 60% of boys going through puberty get some form of gynecomastia. Um, the one thing is, in most of them, over 97%, it goes away after two to three years. The ones that come in who've had it for longer, though, are candidates. And what I typically do is I do a hormone panel on them. And if it's normal, then they're absolutely candidates for surgery. And I, I think one of the things is that I want to stress as far as you know, someone who does a lot of the surgery is there's not a specific age minimum that you have to be to have this surgery. And there's a reason Dr. Dodd Vand is a master in the art of plastic surgery. He also happens to be an artist. So one of the things that drew me to plastic surgery was this kind of mix of science and art. And I was a fine arts major in college and I concentrated in figure painting and figure sculpture. Um, and I think that whether consciously or subconsciously led into my decision to become a plastic surgeon, it certainly helped. It's given me a much better eye than I think uh, the average surgeon. I can verbalize things to people that they see might be off and I can put them in terms that they can understand. But also in the operating room, when I look at a patient and when I'm operating on them, I look at it in three dimensions because that's what the human form is. And understanding that something that can look good in one aspect or in one view may look off in different views. And I, I kind of incorporate that in every aspect of my life, whether it's you know, my surgery, my, my art when I'm doing it at home, or even the decoration of my office. Recovery for this procedure typically ranges between three to four days before returning to work and four to six months before the patient starts to really settle into the desired results. And it is seeing his patient's happiness with the final product that Dr. Dodd Van says gives him personal satisfaction. So one of the most satisfying things for me as a surgeon who does gynecomastia surgery is seeing almost a transformation in my patients after surgery as compared to before. They come in and they have this self-confidence that they didn't have before. If they had pain going into it, the pain is relieved, which relieves a lot of the stress that they've had in their daily lives before. I've had patients cry. I've had patients tell me that you know, now they can take their little daughter or their son to the beach and be active with them instead of just kind of sitting back. That's really, for me, that I always tell patients, if you can leave your house without thinking of your chest, I've done my job. And that emotional impact on their lives is, is very satisfying. To find out more about gynecomastia, you can visit Dr. Dodd Van's website at drdoddvanplasticsurgery.com. Bringing you the best of California, I'm Conchita DeLugo with California Life. And that's it for us. If you missed any part of our show, please go to our website, CaliforniaLifeHD.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to stay in touch with the California Life team. We'll see you next time. Or watch us on our YouTube channel. Stay connected to our social media like our blogs on Facebook, follow our tweets on Twitter, and check out our posts on Instagram and Pinterest, where we bring you the best of California.